Welcome back everybody to another video on the Brembo channel, better known as Travis Benjamin. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the punch card chop chop for trees. And um, with that being said, um, I'm going to show you the method that you can use here in Marvel Standoff, which right now I feel like is the most efficient. So you're going to want to go ahead and um, start up a match of Marvel Standoff. And I'm going to show you guys here what um, you can do to kind of really boost your trees without dealing with, um, you know, yeah, there are other players on the opposite team. But if you land near the edge and follow this kind of a guide, um, you're going to get a lot of trees. Now, I'm not getting ready to reveal my punch cards yet because I am in competition. So you usually get one of two things. You get the uh, She-Hawk Fist. Um, or you get the uh, um, Wolverine's Claws. This can also be good for damage to players, um, seeing as how, uh, but you only get three lives, so it's not as effective as the last mod. So if here's the zone, which is good because there's a lot of trees, I'm gonna land like, like way out here, okay? Something else you want to look for is the group ball. So let's just say that we want to make this even better. Oh, let me get my cursor to work. Um, I'm going to go for that group ball over here. Hopefully nobody takes it. So I don't want to reveal my punch card. So you guys are going to have to just kind of uh, follow along the gameplay. So I'm going to go straight for that group wall because that's really going to help me. This is for your punch card, chop, chop, destroy trees, okay? I've tested this out many times. You can test it out yourself and see um, based on the amount of time you're in the match, how long you actually. So if you got bigger trees like this, the group ball will easily destroy straight through them with little effort. Even if you have a bigger tree like this, you can, you can use the power. If you use it, you still only have two swipes. So, I'm going to just showcase. So, we'll count. That's what? Three or three trees? Let's just call it three. Just there, that was two. All of these type of trees are just one tap. So, five, six, seven, eight. So, normally those would take a couple of taps in order to get done. So you can use the group ball again, 9, 10, 11. Anytime you get a bigger area that has a lot of trees, you can use the group ball. It does have to recharge, yes, but the She-Hulk fists work better than, it gives you more distance. But there's another tree. You know, you guys get the point. Um, already I'm only in the match, and these trees normally would take a little longer. Now the group ball, look, it'll recharge here, see? And then I hit that group ball, and I can easily just um, go through these trees here, which didn't do the best job of, obviously. Anyways, you get the point, guys. One tap for all of the trees instead of more. Um, yeah, you could use the other method. And as you see, nobody's really engaging me way out here. Um, I found this to be that I usually end up remaining to being one of the last players in the match because I'm not really playing the mode so it is what it is that's why I put it on don't feel I'm also because I don't want anybody disturbing me during making the video so once you get the hang of this kind of like the distance you need in between I like this with these bigger trees normally but if you jump with it you can just crush these bigger trees without any problem at all and I just kind of stay towards the end of the zone. And tree after tree, they fall. So what I found is that I'm averaging in a match like this around 300 trees or more. Now, I heard that if you have your materials maxed, that can cause a problem with um, the trees counting. So once you get 999 of every material, make sure to just go ahead and drop, you know, the... Um, materials that you have 
real fast. And you see, like, uh, the bigger trees, usually that would cause a problem. Um, for the, uh, you know, it would cause a problem for you to be able to take those bigger trees on. But even if you have a bigger tree and your power is in charge, so there's two trees at once. And since the zone continues to rotate, you literally could continue to just do this all match long. I've had to be with the last zone is um, completely emptied of trees. And like I, I just try to take out every single tree I see. Now of course you're not going to get every single one. The group ball kind of speeds that up. Which obviously I can't seem to um, uh, fly that well this morning. I just woke up mind you. But this is easily can be done without anybody contesting you. Uh, yeah, you could play this in a regular match and do it. But the thing is, is that you would have to um, worry about other players eventually. And um, not just that, you would need to like chop this tree like 15, 10 times at least. With this, it's always just two swings. So my materials are getting high. I'm going to drop those just in case... Um, I heard that it may not count, and I don't want for my trees not to count for my punch card for chop chop. So this is just a really easy method that you can casually just stroll through. And I like to use the group ball because it's the only other thing that really gives you, you know, um, an ability once the zone gets a little smaller, you want to have that ability to escape and continue to have your health just in case for the off chance you do get pushed now way out here you're usually not going to have anybody do anything but just there's so many trees for the taking and most of the time they give you um you know right around stark industries where they start you off and then they you know put you in um it just keeps moving so i mean the amount of trees that you can get in this is clearly just insane. I've easily had over 100 trees already. And I literally just started. So like I said, every match they're going to give you the She-Hawk Fist or the Wolverine's Claws. Um, the She-Hawk's Fists are more efficient because you can cover more distance. Um, you can, yeah, you got that little jump or boost jump that you can do with the Wolverine's Claws. But it's just not quite as much. And then that's why I recommend the group ball. Because you can get some extra distance as well. So all of these that would normally take you a couple of hits. You can just go right through these trees like they're nothing. And that's the point of um, my punch card video thing like that. So my materials are maxed up. I'm going to let those go. And you see there's only 16 left. Also, there's no fall damage in this mode, so you don't have to worry about that. Or, you know, be stressed out about a team pressuring you. Especially if you're not able to get bot lobbies. Yeah, you could do the chopper mode, um, which your chopper can only take on the small trees. You have to fly around. Eventually, you're going to get shot at. have to change choppers. It's more stressful. With this, you just stay around the edge of zone. You know, if I was more focused, like laser focused on getting this done... Um, I could get more than what I'm getting right now either. So, we're easily, um, from what I've seen, and I don't want to reveal my punch card. And the reason why I don't want to reveal my punch card is because I'm kind of competing with some other YouTubers for completing every single metal punch card that can be done faster than anybody else. So, the group ball is also good because if you do touch Storm because you want to stay towards the edge, you can always... Um, use it just to kind of heal back up. You don't lose your shield. You just lose your health, but you can gain it back. And I don't want to get in there close to all those people. Let them fight. And you see there's only like 10 lives remaining. So this game was not super long. It's definitely shorter than a regular match would be. But you could just keep going for trees. And depending on where it moves you. You know, let's say you're in storm even for a little bit. You can always use the ball. Get out, still bring some trees down in the process. And since there's so few um, left, I'm just gonna grab a few more trees, see where this leads me. 
I don't know if you guys are counting. Um, you know, I uh, lost count a long time ago. So losing count on how many trees you got is actually a good thing. If you lost count, that means you're doing something right. Now, see, I got somebody putting a little bit of pressure on me. But I can just run from that. Now, when there's only a, barely a few players left. Yeah, you're going to get a little more pressure because it kind of puts a target on you. And so let's say I do get eliminated by this player. But look at the distance I can cover if I need to run from now. And then not only when I'm using the fist, I'm still getting trees. Oh, this guy's like super try hard. And it's gonna get like that at the end of the match. But I've only, um, you get three respawns and I've only been killed just that one time. I mean, no times. Actually, I almost got killed. But as I'm jumping away, I'm generating health so I can continue. Just tree after tree. So I don't know. If somebody in the comments watches this video to the end, let me know how many trees. So this guy wants to push me. Okay. That's fine, buddy. Um, but I could just get away. And if I do get eliminated, I could respawn up to three times. So there's only five players left. So of course, um, you know, they're going to pressure me a little more. Uh, there's barely any trees look there's no like literally no trees up in the zone and most of the fact that's courtesy of me it's not like everybody's in here doing this people a lot of this is kids playing this that want to play the game mode the way it's intended to be played but for me i always intend different i use these lgms there's only three lives, so when you when there's like a few lives left in the match, it puts a target on you, so every single player knows where you're at. So with that being said, you know, um, the very end of the game, it's not as productive. But you see, you can just barrel through these trees like it's nothing. And they're all gonna push me because I have a target on my back. Look, there's only two players on my team. I'm not gonna win this match. But if I could just get a couple of more trees. Look how fast I can move. And I messed that up, but... Third thing that, that I'm really serious about, like, trying to win. Clearly, that's not what I'm doing, but of course that's what they're doing. So I'm the last player remaining. This is usually how it happens every time. So they're gonna get me. And that's fine. So I made this video, including the loading, is 13 minutes. And I easily did 200 to 300 trees. So on that pace, let's just say I did 300 trees, 10 matches, 300 times 10. That's 3,000 trees. So right now, this is the quickest method to complete your tree punch card for chop chop and trust me i've tested it it works you can test it out for yourself i'm gonna return to the lobby but yeah um that is the best way right now to complete your chop chop punch card and um with that being said this is brembo i hope hopefully this video helps you guys out to get some trees without having to chop all day long um like i said if you have 300 trees per match with about 10 minutes per match which is shorter than a normal match you know um without even having to really worry about too much you might be able to beat my record maybe you guys kept counting you got way more than i did maybe you guys could get 400 trees um but with 10 minute match you know um to get 300 trees like i said um it would take you 10 matches times 300 trees that's 3,000 trees so 3,000 trees with 10 minute matches um yeah definitely a uh, more efficient and better way so hopefully this video helped you guys out this is brembo ggs and i am out